Hi, my name is Alan Slepcevic. I'm Deputy Chief Officer with Country Fire Authority. And my name is Peter Rao from the Metropolitan Fire Brigade. I'm the Acting Chief Officer. Look, we're both uh, down here today to have a, a look around the mine site. Um, I've got to say that uh, it's really, really exciting and pleasing to see uh, the interagency activities that are occurring and it really starts right at the staging area. Uh, both Alan and myself came in, uh, were tested for CO readings um, and uh, we're aware that that monitoring is going on for all staff and all, all people that are actually on this site. Um, really pleasing to see a whole mixture of, of uniforms and uh, shirts out there and, and, and I think uh, the catch cry of, of we work as one is, is really evident down here so it's not just a throwaway line. Um, if you want to really see it, come down and, and see it in action down here. And yeah, well, I have to say that that's been really great to see from the staging area, you know, the mixture of MFB and CFA, uh, DEPI, SES, but also our interstate colleagues from New South Wales, from ACT, from Tasmania, uh, Air Services, and also the Hazelwood Mine firefighters. Uh, they've been all, all doing a fantastic job here uh, so far in this fire. Yeah, we've, we've been for a, a flight around the, uh, the site today and um, look, this, people can't under, underestimate this being a, a really significant piece of critical infrastructure for Victoria and um, that's why there's so many resources there. The, the implications of uh, this particular site not operating are pretty enormous for the state and uh, hence uh, everything's being thrown at it to try to, to bring it uh, under control and, and get the people of the communities of Moore and Terrelgan and, and Gippsland in general back to Moore because uh, you know, they're not in a great space either with the, the smoke that uh, from time to time goes over the town. Uh, firefighters are finding the work here really hard. It's really tough work. They're down there, it's dirty, it's tough work and, and we understand that. We also understand that um, that families of volunteers, families of staff members are actually saying, well, you know, goodbye and we'll see you in three or four days and, and we know you're going to be tired when you get home. So we, well, I think we, we, we so want to thank them as well because it's, um, they're putting up a, a fantastic uh, effort in, in letting their loved ones come down here and, um, and undertake this really important role. It's a great effort by, by everyone involved in it. We, we had a, a fly over the fire to have a look what is happening currently and, and uh, I have to say the great progress has been made over the uh, last couple of weeks. Uh, there is probably another couple of weeks to go in this firefighting. It is a big job for us. Uh, but uh, as Peter said, community safety and the firefighter safety is top of the mind in everything that we do from planning to, to firefighting. Uh, hence lots of testing for people and testing of the air quality and, and also of uh, water quality. And, and we we're trying to get that information out to everyone as quickly as possible. Uh, the, the bottom line is a lot of that requires independent analysis. Uh, once that independent analysis is returned to us, we want to make that available. There's nothing to be uh, hidden here. It's about actually providing information out. And I think not only the community, but firefighters who are working down here need to understand um, what the situation is down here. So that, that, that process is, is going through its uh, journey. Um, we anticipate that some of the uh, information will be available in the next 24 hours. Uh, and that'll be made available to uh, to all organisations to uh, to have a look at uh, the um, the uh, components of the water um, and the air supply that we've uh, got uh, around the mine. I also have to say that uh, we we had a good look of the outbreak on the top of the mine that occurred yesterday. Uh, about 30 hectares that burned the grass towards the power station. That was fantastic effort by the ground crews, but also our uh, helicopter air support that put that fire out and, and managed to contain it uh, just before it impacted on the infrastructure and the power station. Yeah, look, I, I don't want to focus on MFB, but just for, for a short statement, I mean, we've, we've sent more trucks out to around the state this, this summer than we ever have, and I've got to say the, um, the relationship that we've built with particularly CFA and DEPI has been tremendous. And, uh, I know you're talking to some people uh, that saw our trucks installed saying, you know, hey, what are you doing here? But gee, it's great, great you're up here. And I think the community don't really care, you know, what, what brand's on the truck, it's whether the truck turns up. And, and uh, I can really see some, some positive steps forward from, from our organisation into, um, into the state environment.
that's that's exactly right. And and seeing the volunteer uh, coming here from all parts of the state, it's been fantastic. Yes. We're, we're, I've seen today trucks from Cobram and, and from uh, yes. northwest of the state. It, it's been a great effort of people coming here and helping uh, community in Latrobe Valley. I think it's important for communities to remain patient with us. Our firefighters are doing a fantastic job, but this job will take a number of weeks to complete. Yes, spot on, Alan. And, and the importance of getting accurate, timely communication out to the community can't be underestimated. Um, if they don't know something, they don't know something. So we need to actually make sure that that's getting, being provided to them. Um, we'd love to get this thing out quicker. We'd love to get it out you know, today, tomorrow but it's unlikely that's going to occur and so we need to actually make sure that we make the greatest effort to get it out as quickly as possible and pass on as much informa information to the community and to our firefighters as we can. And I just want to remind the communities while, while at the moment we are focusing here today on, on the Hazelwood, there is also a large, yes. large number of fires or large fires in the East Gippsland where there is still lots of firefighters uh, tied up in, in trying to protect communities. Please give